Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at creating QR codes for our Rails application. Now these will be uh, mainly for the posts here where we create a post on creation. It will generate a QR code that links back to the URL for that post. But you could reasonably repurpose these for any number of, of reasons. In this case, we're just using the posts because a lot of times a QR code is used to like redirect someone to a specific URL. I thought this might be a interesting way of doing that. But of course, you can pretty much just extract what we're doing into a helper method. For this, we're going to be using this gem right here, which is, if I full screen this, the uh, RQR code gem. So it's pretty simple to use. It allows you to generate both a SVG as well as a PNG. In our case, we're going to be using the PNG portion right here, which will generate a QR code similar to this. So let's go ahead, let's get started by making a new Rails app. We just stop the server, CD out of here, and then I'll hit uh, Control plus a few times. Let's go ahead and let's do a Rails new video just to start up the creation here. Uh, and in terms of what we actually need to do, it's pretty simple. The only real caveat is gonna be setting the default URL options, which uh, you're probably familiar with if you've done this before. So we're gonna CD into our video. We're gonna run a uh, bundle add for the RQR code gem. So that'll add it to our gem file and run bundle install. That works there. Next, we can do a Rails G scaffold. Let me hit F11 for this so we can see more. Let's do a post. We'll give each post a title and a body of type text just so we have something to look at. Once that's done, we then need to do a Rails uh, active underscore storage colon install command to install active storage. We can then do a Rails DB colon migrate command to migrate our database. And then we can do a Rails S to start our server. And at this point, uh, we should be good to go. I did forget to uh, do the code dot to open up VS Code. Uh, but it, we, we're pretty good. Uh, the only real thing we have to do though is in our config and our environments and our dev environment, really depends on where you wanna do this. But in your uh, application configure here, you wanna do a config action controller dot default URL options to get the host just so you can use this somewhere else. Now, optionally, there is the ability to uh, pass a port here, uh, but in my case, I'm doing this in a very lazy way where I'm including the port inside the host just so I can grab the overall host here. Uh, you could, of course, like include the protocol and maybe like a URL or whatever you'd like, uh, but I'm just using the host. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And the reason why we didn't start the server here is because after you do this, you then have to do a Rails S again. Uh, and of course, uh, it's always weird to do that multiple times, but okay. So that allows us to start it. Let's now come into our config and our routes.rb because we want to set a route for this application. We'll just go ahead and put the post controller and the index action here. After we have that, we can then come into the post model. So right up here, we'll come into the, uh, the app, the models and the post.rb inside of here. This is sort of where most of our logic will happen, but for now, let's just set up the uh, active storage stuff. So we'll say this has one attached QR code, and then optionally, you can say this is dependent destroy. Uh, then we can come into the app controllers and the post controller, scroll down to the bottom. And then after the body here, we want to do one more uh, parameter that we're permitting, which is gonna be the QR code. So that allows us to do that. We don't actually have to do anything else in terms of the form because this will be automatically generated. So now when we come to localhost port 3000, go to new post, type 123456 here, on create, we'd like to create this uh, QR code. So to do that, we have to come into our post, we have to create like a on create or before commit callback. So what we can do is we can start by creating this uh, before commit something like that. And then we can come down here, create a private, do a def generate QR code. And then we can pretty much just copy and paste what, what GitHub Copilot gives us here. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get the host. So this should be coming from the rails application.config action controller default URL options host. We then need to uh, create the QR code object. This will then, uh, I mean, this isn't really what we want to do here. So this is uh, a 
different way of doing it. The way that I prefer to do it is, let me just comment this out actually. Uh, we can do a QR code equals this, and then inside of this uh, QR code.new, you can actually just pass in a post URL, URL with the self, which is this post object, and the host. But to do that, we do need to include the Rails application route URL helpers, and that'll allow us to use those in here. We can then create the PNG object, which is gonna be the actual image. For this, we can just do a PNG equals QR code and then use the uh, as PNG method in it. And then there's a whole bunch of different options here uh, that they give you on the GitHub repo. Uh, so what you can pretty much do here is just copy what they have and then paste that in here. Uh, and then if you want, you can look through like the, the GitHub repo in terms of like what all of these, these different options do for you. Uh, in general, it seems like it's just different configurations for how you want your QR code to work. After we do that, we then need to attach this image that we've just created, this QR code PNG, to active storage. And for that, we can do something similar to this, where we call self.qrcode.attach. So this is not this QR code. When we call self.qr code, that's actually the active storage QR code right here. Probably should rename this so it's a bit more clear but we're attaching to the QR code active storage attachment. So our IO is gonna be a string IO dot new, and then we pass in the PNG as a string. We can then give it a file name, which is just gonna be QR code dot PNG, and then a content type, which will be image slash PNG because we generated PNG here. And that will attach it to active storage. So if we come out of here and go over to localhost port 3000, if we hit enter a couple times, and now if we click create post, we scroll up a bit and I hit F11, oops, F11 on this one, sorry. Uh, we can see here it inserts into active storage blobs after it creates the post. So we insert into the post, we insert into active storage blobs, and then we uh, you know, return the, or go back to the set post, right? So now we're on the show post page. So now we have that, we just need to actually show the QR code. So let's come over here, go into views, go into posts, go into the post partial. And then in the post partial, what we want to do is just a image tag. We'll just do this down here. A image tag with a URL for the post.qr code, which is that active storage attachment we just created. Now, if we come in here and we refresh, we have that QR code. So that is probably working. Uh, but now we, of course, want to test this. Now, there's a couple ways you can try to scan this or to test this. Uh, you can go over to your web browser and go to webqr.com. I'll have a link to this in the video description. This will then ask you for permissions to use your camera, and then you should get a preview here, and you can then point your webcam at the page itself. In my case, this isn't going to work because my uh, video recorder is already grabbing permissions to use the webcam, so I can't do that. Uh, alternatively, you can use your phone and just open up your camera app. All right, so we can see here, you can either swipe down from the top here and uh, somewhere in your phone, you'll see a scan QR option. So you can either do that and then come over to like your, your web app or whatever, should scan it and then it'll tell you, open this up at localhost port 3000 slash post slash one. So we can see that works. Alternatively, you can just go into your camera app and then if you point your camera at it, it should just give you that same option. And then you can click on show options and you get the same stuff. But yeah, this is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. It's a pretty niche application. You're not gonna be generating QR codes for every like page on your website, obviously. Uh, but if there's a specific like URL you wanna create a QR code for, maybe you're doing like some kind of menu system or whatever, uh, then yeah, this is pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully this was interesting. Hopefully this is helpful and hopefully I will see you in the next tutorial.